following presentation is for mature audiences only. Who are you? He's a fine man. All hell is broken loose. He's a great broadcaster. He's a very powerful guy. Absolutely brilliant. Feared by men, adored by women. He's a smart boy. It's patriotic. It's no big deal. It's the end of the world. I might as well tell you now. He's a monkey. And how you doing, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages? Welcome in to another edition of The Wild Side with Eric Clark. I'm Eric Clark, your host, saying thank you for taking time out of your busy day to give my video a watch and a listen. If you like it, like it. If you think others are going to like it, give it a share. Make sure you are subscribed to the YouTube channel and you are following me on all the social media platforms. I've got them linked down below. That way, if there's a band, a song, a video, something you want me to check out, you can hit me up with a DM or leave it in the comments below. If you are going to hit me up with a DM, please, no spamming. I know you think it's like a request line, but it doesn't work, okay? It just doesn't work. Throw me a link to your suggestion, and I'll try to get it into the handy-dandy notebook. And if you are going to leave it in the comments below, just do me a favor. Join the I Concur Army. All you have to do is give it a cursory read-through. If you see your suggestion has already been made, all you have to do is slap a like on that one, and below, reply with I Concur. That helps the old resin-coated burnout DJ brain put everything into a nice little organized list, and I fill up yet another handy-dandy notebook. Another way you can get me your suggestion, every Saturday, 2 p.m., we do our live stream. It is the Wild Side Live right here from East Nashville. It's two hours, no politics, no religion, and you get to ask me all the questions you want about radio, music, make your suggestions, all that stuff. I've got a lot of stories to tell about my 30-plus years in rock radio. So it's your opportunity to sit down and pick the scabs of my brain if you want to. 2 o'clock Central Time every Saturday, the Wild Side Live. But you have to be a subscriber to the Wild Side. And thank you to everybody for 2022. Absolutely amazing. The channel grew faster than I ever expected it to grow. I know to a lot of people it may not seem like a lot, but to me it is far more than I expected and much more than I deserved. So thank you very much for being a part of the I Concur Army and being a subscriber to The Wild Side with Eric Clark. Thank you to Aspen Dental, Connect 200, Music to See, Gothic Jewelry, and of course Aunt Betty's Nut Butter. They are the reasons I don't ask you for money that often. It's a joke, man. It's just a joke. Again, if you have a suggestion for me, there are a lot of ways to get it to me. Today's suggestion is actually coming from the live stream. Somebody said, hey, Love Bites is dropping a new album in February, and they're going to be premiering their new bass player. If I'm not mistaken, again, you guys have been so good about being my Sherpa in this journey of new music of mine. So anything I get wrong, please fill me in with all the information down below. You're not just educating me, but you're also educating other people who may not have that knowledge as well. Knowledge is power. So thank you very much for giving me all the info I get wrong. But if I'm not mistaken, the new lead singer, Fami, if that is how you pronounce it, um, auditioned through YouTube. Like they said, hey, send us your auditions on our YouTube channel and uh, we'll pick our bass player. I don't know. Okay, I know too much about the industry. Uh, I know too much about it. So I know what theater of the mind is. So I don't know for a fact if they actually chose her from the auditions or if it was just something to gain traction and they already had her lined up. Don't know. But they do have a new bass player, and I'm excited to check it out. It is the new track. The album, I believe, is called Judgment Day and is releasing February 25th. It's Love Bites, Judgment Day. Let's check it out.
not fair, man. It's not fair. That's not fair. That's not fair to other fans. It's not. So, Judgment Day, Love Bites, February 25th. That's not fair, man. There, There's nothing fair about this, and here's why. Uh, there's a lot of things about this, this song, uh, the video aside. Very smart song. This is very smart. Uh, let me see if I can make sure I word it properly so it makes sense. Because this is, it's still swirling in my head. So I still, I'm still hearing things in my head. I'm still seeing colors. So just give me a second to allow them to uh, not fade, but settle into their proper places. So I, I wrote down, here she is exclamation point because i like the way the song starts it introduces you to fami it introduces you to the new element it brings it and puts it right out in the front but but not very smart track this is a very smart track so at some point in the conversation in introducing fami to the wolf pack i hope i got that right if i got it right i'm going to be so proud of myself when you're introducing a a new member of the family, you know, cousin Oliver on the Brady bunch, right? Uh, the new Meg on family guy, when you're bringing them in, you have to be smart. Okay. In all kinds of aspects, just socially, musically, uh, marketing wise, just all, uh, whatever that's smart because the real driving force of this song, is Haruna and Fami. The, the, the drummer, yeah, Haruna and Fami, the drummer and the bass player, are really pushing the song. This, what Haruna was doing in this song was really reminiscent to me of, like, ministry, um, KMFDM, a very industrial pace, an industrial tempo was going on here. And what Fami and Haruna were doing were building that wonderful, rich, thick, traditional foundation and heartbeat and pace of this song this is what this is what your body is connecting to okay because again you don't control what makes your foot tap and you don't control what makes you laugh these are the two things as a human being you do not control so they're tapping right into your heartbeat and they're creating that symbiosis with your heartbeat automatically pulling you in and you're yeah yeah you know you're into it and that bass line that is matching that drum is an incredible pace. And it's very well done. Very smart. Because it really is the it is the heartbeat of the song. So everything else is happening around it. So they're building these bridges back and forth and making these changes back and forth. And everything else is happening all around it. So it's very smart. Like, this is your introduction, and in one way, it's throwing you off into the deep end for the bass player. This is an 18-year-old young lady named Fami who's, this is it, you know, but bro, (laughs) I think you'll be fine. Uh, I think you'll be just fine. And again, Haruna, this was a, watching this video, maybe live it'll be a different disposition, but this was a very um, focused six minutes of drumming. Uh, I did notice that there, even the subtleties, even the the little rolls and the runs that she did in between the changes, when she would roll from one into another and just smack a, a cymbal hat, or just double up on a bass roll real quick. Uh, these little subtle things were very intricate, but they were very precise and very clinical uh, in their in their tone. So her tone wasn't loose, her tone wasn't rounded. You know, it was very emphatic drumming, and I really like that about her. And, and again, she just ran like <laughs> five miles uh, on that. I don't know if I could do that. Even, even when I were in shape, even back when I was in shape, I don't think I could have I kept that pace uh, with my legs. That is an incredible skill that that drummer has. So now I want to talk about the twin attack, uh, the, uh, the uh, traditional twins I wrote down here, traditional twins. When you have a twin guitar attack, there's usually a a set. You know, this is lead, this is rhythm. 
you know, and the rhythm fills where the lead isn't, right, kind of a thing. What I'm liking about Midori and Miyako is is their is her growth. Miyako's right, yeah. Miyako's growth. The starting is one thing, and you're so talented that now there really are two lead guitar players. Look, Midori, Midori is on a completely different level than ninety percent of guitarists in music in general. That is a. <laughs> Someone was asked when Jack Nicholas, the golfer, started playing golf, he was he was the original Tiger Woods, man. He was the guy that went out there young, clean cut, just went out there and just beat everybody by a bunch of stuff, right? Uh, just the young phenom on the course. And somebody had asked, I, I want to say it was Ben Hogan. Somebody will correct me, I'm sure. Uh, my friend Adam will. I think it was Ben Hogan who said, he plays a game with which we are unfamiliar She plays guitar on a level with which most people are very unfamiliar. That is an incredible twin guitar attack. That is right there with Judas Priest. It's right. I, I'll even throw it up there with like Leonard Skinner as far as the ability to harmonize guitars and create a visceral connection through music and through harmony of electric guitars that is just it's almost as if yeah it's fast paced and yeah it's metal but it's almost like they're weeping it's this it's this very emotional tone that comes through their guitar attack and i just love how they do it so now i want to talk about asami's vocals and i've said this in a previous love bites video i have loved watching her grow I have absolutely loved watching her vocally grow from you can tell English isn't her first language to English might be her second language. Her familiarity is getting better. Her vocals are already here. So now you're bringing in her ability to sing in a language that she's not native to and be able to shape her words properly so that, yes, you can tell that English isn't her first language, but you're so impressed by her vocals, it doesn't matter because it sounds natural. Even the way that, even though you can tell, it still sounds natural and i've said it before i said it in the previous video she will never go where she can't go it's so impressive where she can go right to where she knows she can't go and stop and then own that space her vocals again going from one key to another one register to another one volume to another one octave to another one modulation to another. She's able to do it all in one breath. And on top of that, again, you're not mishearing her. She's still clear. She's getting her vocals out there. She's telling her story. And she's also conveying her emotion. It's absolutely brilliant. I've loved watching this band grow. And one of the most you know, a couple of points I made about Love Bites and bands like Bandmade is that there's a reason why old rockers love them. And it has nothing to... What's crazy about this band, and especially when you're introducing people to them, and I've, I've run into this. I don't know if any of y'all who have been fans for a long time have run into this, but I have when I've been saying, hey, man, you know, hey, Eric, what have you been listening to? Oh, check this band out. When you introduce them to Love Bites or Bandmade, there's the there's an optical thing that automatically triggers this thought process in their head. And you have to tell them, bro, I don't think you understand how how secondary them being five beautiful women have to do with what's going on right here. I cannot stress that enough that It doesn't hurt them, but everyone that I have spoken to about this band, 
them being five beautiful women is secondary. It, it just, they happen to be because they're so talented musically and they, they're so good about including that familiar legacy, that historical tone that you want in your metal. And yet they create this fresh, bright modernity around that traditional historic tone that you're wanting in your metal. And they do it better than a lot of people. They are a marvel to behold. They just happen to be five beautiful women. And again, I, I, I wrote down beauty is secondary, physical beauty, because I don't think that's the, it's hard to really, really translate what I'm thinking here. But it's, you know, that's why I try to look away a lot of times because you're, you're getting visuals and I don't want, I want to hear the music. And then you look and you go, oh, okay, cool. They happen to be beautiful women, but <laughs> that's nothing to do with why they're awesome. It really doesn't. So I, I, I hope that that made sense. You know, I really do. Thank you very much for that suggestion. I, I look forward to the new album. I look forward to the new sounds coming out. Uh, Fami stepped in and, you know, I don't know if it's in the water. Uh, it could be the fact that they started at a very young age. But these these ladies are just really setting the bar at a very high level right now for everybody else. And I'm loving this coming out of Japan. And that is just such a great vibe. And I've seen them live. I've seen videos of them live. So I know they have a great time and they really have such a beautiful energy about them that the music that they're making itself, the attitude is that added instrument. It's like, you know, why is my grandmother's fried chicken better than my fried chicken? Well, I make it with love, right? You know, kind of a thing. That's what you're getting in this band. And they're just a phenomenal band. And I loved everything that I've heard from them. So I'm looking forward to exploring more. So thank you very much for the suggestion. Again, if you have a suggestion for a tune, a song, a band, something you want me to check out, hit me up with a DM on social media or leave it in the comments below. If you're going to leave it in the comments below, join the I Concur Army. Read through, like, I Concur. If you are going to hit me up with a DM, please, no spamming, man. But it, it doesn't work that way. Also, don't forget Saturdays, 2 p.m., it is the Wild Side Live. We live stream for two hours from East Nashville. Your opportunity to ask me questions, probe the old brain, pick the scabs, pick the resin off the inside of my brain and see if I can remember any stories from 30 plus years in radio. So it's your, your chance to sit down and suggest tunes like we did today. So it's the Wild Side Live every Saturday, 2 p.m. Again, thank you to Aspen Dental, Connect 200, Music to See, Gothic Jewelry, and, of course, Aunt Betty's Nut Butter. They are those that make the wild side possible. And you. Thank you. 2022 was an awesome year, and I hope that 2023, because of you, will be awesome or more awesomer? More, more awesome, awesomer? It'll be better. I hope 2023 is going to be more fun and adventurous. You know what I'm saying, man. You know I'm just kidding around. <laughs> Thank you very much for taking time out of your day to watch the video. Make sure you're looking out for each other. Make sure you're looking out for your neighbor. Try to do at least one good thing a day. I am Eric Clark, and this has been The Wild Side. <laughs>